Okay, so I just restarted a new video, just made a cut there, because I'll split you into two. The raise takes a long time. When you've got the added buff, there's an extra wave, and they're harder. All the creatures have magical weapons. And as you can see by the hit points, the raiding party is chasing the traitor around. <laughs> What a bunch of idiots. I'm gonna have to go hunt them down. Maybe they'll turn on me when they see me. And in fact, they did. Whenever they land me, there's a chance that they will get the thorn. And that's why they bounce back as though they've been hit. See what I'm currently running? Protection 4, Protection 4 Thorn, Protection 4, and Blast Protection 4 with Feather Falling 4. Reading group there. go join them on the field because I like to collect banners. You'll see when I get down here, I've become quite the banner collector. <laughs> Just goes to show how many of these raiding groups I have defeated. A lot of these banners come from uh, the outpost as well. Each one of those captains gives me one, so... on the video. First Ravager. Vindicator's the captain. I don't like meeting Vindicators on the field, I definitely range them. But I will approach the regular villagers on the field, they're much easier. Lots of arrows. Just let them come right to me. Line them up. The guy in the back shoots the guy. Oh, the guy in the back has multi shot. One of them has multi shot. That's another thing about having extra buck. When you get bad omen level one, just a single bad omen, they don't come with magical armor and weapons on. One of those guys obviously had a crossbow modified for multi-shot. 
which is first. Always, 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 which is first. They're too dangerous when they start healing evokers. Looks like the trader got away. I see his llamas over there. Build your sweet berry fields in rows away from the ramparts so that they stand in straight lines. It makes it a lot easier to track them down with the archery. Another one with multi shot. Just always shooting a little bit low nowadays. Trying to get these indicators eliminated. There we go. I do believe this is wave three. I always lose count. I used to lay torches down to keep count. I don't even bother now because it's just too much excitement, too much stuff going on all the time. Ledger on the Ravager, so I'm just looking to see if there's an Evoker in the group. Yep, this little fast guy right here is the most dangerous because if he spots you or you try to harm him, he will cast the Vex spell and then you gotta shoot at those little Vex ghosts until you eliminate them. So, to be safe, When I'm playing hardcore, what I do is I'll wait for this guy's. The evoker is going to kill himself on the sweet berries. And then I can rejoin the battle. There's no sense going up there until he's down. Let's let this play out. Patience. Sun Tzu. Never destroy an. Er, never stop an enemy that's destroying himself. Just making sure that that was in fact a pillager on the Ravager because the Ravager spots you and he will come to you. He's got a quite a wide range for picking up your trail. Okay, which is gone. So next comes the Vindicators. They do not like having that captain thing fall on the ground for long. Now the Ravager. You can see I built the sweet berries too wide in some spots so that the Ravager is willing to go down it. When I only had ever single file, they would never go down it. And this way we can make them take a lot of damage as well. If I can get him to bring my... Oh! Oh, he went and picked it up. The guy who was carrying the banner killed himself on the berries. This guy picked it up for me. Ten. My dogs are sparking. Hmm. I 
seeing a Volker running around again. I don't see a Ravager in this group. Where? Indicator in behind here. He hasn't routed his way into the Sweetberry field yet. Ooh. The Volker just went down. So the crossbow guys have low range. They can't shoot nearly as far as my bow. So I stopped the Sweetberry field the way more than 10 squares from where I stand up on this rampart. Which unfortunately for them allows them to sense me. But now I get close enough to shoot at me. Line them up. <laughs> the back guy always shoots the one in front. Wow, he's got a quick bow. Still here again. He poker on a Ravenger, so this one's going to take a little longer because I will be waiting for him. to the sweetberry field and it takes quite a while for the ravenger to uh, get destroyed by the sweetberry now what I can do in the meantime though is attempt to pick off witches that are standing out exposed I gotta be way back because I don't want the evokers to see me. Oh, missed him. Oh, it's pretty far to that guy. Got him. That's one witch down. Another witch right there. Uh, two witches down. Go back on there for a second. Sounds like there's one below me here somewhere too. Oh, there's one more witch in that group. He's currently healing pillagers and vindicators, but if he starts healing that ravager, it's going to take forever for the evoker to. He's stuck walking the berries on his own. He's almost too close right now. Oh, I hit the stupid evoker instead. Gonna get a vex spell cast. The Evoker might have tried healing himself. I saw him doing, waving his hands like he was casting a spell, but... <laughs> he just shot himself. <laughs> I didn't know that they have reflections built into the... Uh... One Ravager went down. It's not the one with the Evoker on it, though. I have already shot Exit 
in previous raids, so I'm not too worried about getting the, uh, okay, he just fell off and he's going to be gone in no time now. He just runs around so fast that he can't help but hit these berries. And I'll try taking on the one Vindicator that's remaining. Ravager behind me here somewhere. Sounded like there's one behind me. Let's go down one level. No, there's no being tight to the rampart, so we can start trying to focus on that witch. Same technique, we'll get way back. Law barrels over the barricade. He moved. Somebody's still healing. I think that Vindicator's healing himself because as I watch the hit points in the total rate group, they are dropping in contact with the berries. But then it bounces back up once in a while. That's what we need is the Ravenger that's carrying the Evoker. We need him to come right to the front. Stay in that trail and take damage. see a totem of undying in amongst the berries, but this is taking too long, it may not be there when I finally get to walk the field and collect stuff. And that's victory.
There's one totem. Can any of the villagers blow me? Some Ravager Saddle. Another totem. That's just gunpowder. Third totem. So since my uh, village defense being underground with the sweetberry field directly above, it's basically a totem farm. <laughs> it's a safe way, fairly safe way, especially when you're playing hardcore mode and you can't die um, to recover totems of dying. Which I put in my other chests that I can grab them from different places and of course the villagers if nobody's ever seen Hero of the Village they're all excited if this happens to be the first video of mine that you come across these are all healed zombie villagers from a mob farm I heal them and I rail them into this village so they already offer discounts but now that I've had the uh, Hero of the Village buff the discounts are even greater. Like some of the most powerful stuff they sell is one emerald only. Armors. One pumpkin per emerald. Oh, and then they start throwing stuff at you too. None of it's really worth anything, but they're appreciated and it's well deserved. I'm looking for my Here's mending. So 17 emeralds instead of 36 to get a mending enchantment. That's not bad. Thorns. One emerald for thorns two, which of course can be uh, doubled up on the anvil and you get your thorns three that way. So two emeralds and two books. And I mean, that is so easy because some of these librarians sell bookshelves so you can harvest books. So that is a level 5 raid defense. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I'd want. Oh, I guess the only other thing I gotta do before I go back to regular questing is dump my banner. And that will officially end the raid. There we go. So lots more to go, but I won't be able to banner above the sheep because I need the sunlight to be able to get at the grass. Otherwise, they don't create wool very fast. 